have the craftsman right now. I still think it's probably okay to be focusing on clerks. Since the factories are still sucking up clerks. We're losing money on our steel factory that we're subsidizing. But I think we want to produce steel as quickly as possible so that everything else is going to be okay. Oh god, yeah, Eurovision. God damn. When does that start? Is it on now? Totally possible you won't be able to build all the boats because Great Britain are buying all the clippers, by the way. Oh. Adolf Sax! Epic Sax Man. Yeah, this guy's. This Prussian stack has been there for the entire game. I mean, this is just Prussian territory over here. It starts in one hour. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, the other thing, though, is... Let me just check to see if it's happened yet. Uh, I think... Okay. Uh, people in Discord, keep an eye on the general chat. I think there'll be a poll for the multiplayer soon. I don't know. Whatever. Quill likes Eurovision? No, Quill loves Eurovision. Well... <laughs> Quill likes the Eurovision experience. It's nutty as hell, but I like it. Should we build our own, like, little clipper production? Because we've got wood. We don't have that much wood production. But I guess we don't actually have a factory that consumes wood currently. And we do make a little bit of timber. I don't know if anyone loves Eurovision itself, but you can love the Eurovision experience. It's so bad, it's beautiful. Okay, no, these 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 ships... Well, I mean, I guess a little bit of time went. Um, I'll get some more. I think what I'll, I'll do is I'll take the first load of troops over. Uh, who's still selected? Okay. Hang on, if I merge you... Let me just do this again. So I've got these ships. Get on the boat. Select the boats. You are carrying things. Come to the Bite of Benin. You can build as many in parallel as you can source materials for. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. Uh, total supply throughput of all the neighborhood ports is 10. New ships under construction will exceed that supply by 6. Oh! You need to, to supply each. Okay, so there's a, a limit on some ships in practice without... I think then our, our income, our maintenance goes up like crazy. I can't build more ports. I only have one coastal province, and its naval base is as high as I can do currently. I guess I need to improve my naval doctrine to be able to build a high-level base, which may be worthwhile. Well, interchangeable parts just finished. We could get plus one to our base level. Maybe? Cheap iron is still something we're kind of into. And then the other thing is, maybe it's time to start working our way down these military trees, actually. When does inorganic chemistry come in? 1850, okay. I think we should start getting some military tech. Naval bases increase the points for colonization. Okay. Uh, I mean, we still are limited by um, the life rating right now. More than, I think, ports and, ports and range. Yeah, I don't want to start a war against um, the Netherlands, but I was sort of hoping they were going to start it against me. Because I felt fairly certain we could beat them. I don't know why it's got the X there. Because it's like you can't move your ship there, maybe? Uh, jigs, furniture production, luxury furniture production, liquor production, small arms production. Actually, the small arms is something we're doing. Okay, yeah, you're not currently being attritioned, which is good. I mean, the fleet is. Now, do I want to move all my troops out of here? Okay, let's start justifying, because that does take a little while. Justify. I think we want demand secession. 
Because this is we want them to give us our stuff. Seed territory to form a colonial secession. I think this is what we're looking for, yes? I'm pretty sure. Seven stacks should be enough to win. Oh, we should already so you're saying we should already have. Um, if I look at the ledger, that L is not the ledger. I don't know if there's a pocket the ledger. I'm betting I already passed by a military screen. I mean, there's military score. Oh, brigades. Here we go. They have eight brigades. Um, now, I don't know if there's like a relative strength difference. At this point, I mean, it's not like we have a ton of tech either. Well, I mean, we still have to fabric. I think I'll bring everyone over. It's gonna take. Oh, come on! Do they just know that I've, like, moved my troops out? And they're like, now's the time to do it? Fucking hell! They have pre industrial brigades. Ours are stronger. What the hell is with this timing? Hang on. Turn around. At least you didn't get very far. Yeah, let's mobilize. Turn more of our poor strata into soldiers. Are we just gonna get wrecked here? we're gonna have it especially with the mobilization I mean they're gonna siege some stuff over there I don't think I'm actually gonna need you back but I'm thinking about moving you back like you know at least starting to move you back home as a safety buffer no I think we're gonna be fine well I don't know actually yeah who is rebelling that's a good question um, is, I all oh, right they're Flemish nationalists Right? So they want independence for Flemland. For Flanders. Stupid sexy Flanders. I finally see my country <laughs> win a battle. <laughs> oh, alright. Um Aren't Rebels. Disband Undermanned, because some of these aren't being refilled properly. I'm gonna let, like, a morale... Well, they have no morale anyway. I should actually chase them down. If the capital falls, I'm I'm done. Oh, for crying out loud! They really didn't want to rush this attack. Oh, do I have to max this to get more org? Looks like we're gonna be okay. These guys are gonna get real confused here. You'll never make it here in time anyway, as it turns out. All right. I'll chase you to here. At least there's no Shattered Retreat, I don't think, so we can just keep chasing these punks. Oh god, that's like... <laughs> these poor troops! I don't think any attrition here. I mean, I guess they don't control the territory. Resistance to occupation, yeah. Economy's still going well while well mobilized. Oh, Baden goes bankrupt, and apparently they had loans with us. Uh, justification. 54 and more days. So 
So I guess I don't need to keep these many people here. I don't think there's a detach siege button. But I could move some dudes out of here just so that we're not taking as much of a an attrition hit. Hey, machine tools. There you go. Factory throughput, mining output. Nice. And machine put parts output as well. Which we do have the machine parts factory over here. It is being subsidized and being kept open. Wow, we've got stupid amounts of money. Like, we got too much money. Well, military spending is maxed. Um, I guess I can probably demobilize now. Maybe here in just case there's a problem. You're there, which is fine. Oh, you I have to bring home, otherwise you're going to just fall apart. So let's do that. Supply is fine here too. Yeah, it is. Let me get you right on the coast. Um, I have auto-creating of leaders and things, so that's going to be okay. So that's done. We'll just park you back into Brussels. I mean, these guys are still cranky. There you go. All right. I don't think lowering taxes is going to do anything for us. I mean... Um, if I lower taxes on the higher strata, I think it encourages people to maybe promote. And lowering taxes on the rich can help them build more um, factories for me. I think all the uh, I think all the factories have been built, or all the rail have been built. So we're gonna go ahead and declare war on these guys. Demand concessions. I mean, I think ultimately I can keep adding these as long as I keep winning. But let's say Sukkot Benin, because that's the one closest to the thing. Lower taxes means they have that money for maybe making factories or building their own railroads. But right now, we're doing that kind of on our own. So I think we're okay. We can add all but one. I think I add once the war starts. I think what we do is we start the war... And then we can add more demand. It gives more bad guy points. Problem adding as you go is you pay full infamy price. Oh, start with the biggest. Uh, I don't know. I just want to start with the one closest to the coast. Need jingwism to add war goals. Oh. Well. Because, right, right now our policy is anti military. We could switch to Nationalist Party, which gives us Jingoism. Um, I'm actually wondering if I should go and hunt down their stack first. Or go for the capital first? How does, um, I don't know if Warscore and Wiki in, in Vicky works the same way with, like, war goals and things. I don't know, I think I kind of want to split you in half. Siege out two places, and then we can reinforce each other. Speed three. Wait. Why are there Flemish nationalist rebels in Sokoto? They're on vacation. Yeah, I'm pretty confused. Did one of my... Did one of these regiments just go and be rebellious? Like, is, is the rebellion still happening? I thought I crushed the rebellion. But I guess it's still happening. And so they broke away. After the war started. Alright. We found the rebel base. So there you go. 
they're showing up over here. Okay, the fact that they're no longer continuing to attack while I move here is giving me good vibes that they can't take me. I guess, um, maybe I should go and smash them first. Let's, let's occupy one province first. I'm worried about shipping more people, especially with Prussia still hanging out there, but I don't know. Army professionalism. Okay, still no inorganic. Still no empiricism. I'm wondering about the higher ship level, but I think what I'm going to do is just get some gun tech. And what I think I'm going to do temporarily, because we don't have anyone, we can't recruit any more dudes, I'm actually going to switch my population here. I'm going to encourage soldiers for a little while. So that we have more recruitable population, and not to mention reinforcements for existing dudes. I'm going to go for their capital now. So do you think we can take these guys? Like, I have no way of knowing how strong we are compared to them. No way, no way of knowing. I don't know, have any sense of the balance. We did just get a tech that gave us a boost to our morale and military tactics. Which, if military tactics work the same as they do in EU4, that's really good. You'll win, yes you can. Okay. Because they are uncivs. So that should theoretically make life a lot better for us. 100%. Only the bold have success. So I don't know how I get, like... I don't know if I can get any stats on these at all. I don't know. I mean, we are absolutely 100% crushing them. That is completely true. Uh, and I think you're just retreating to here. And there's no shattered retreat, so we should just be able to keep following you until you go down to zero. And then we can carpet siege. If I recall, that's that's the flow of this game. Chase them down until they go down to zero, and then just like go for full carpet sieges everywhere. Yes. Bring. Oh, damn! Flems are getting more conscious and militaristic. Okay, so they're willing to give me that right away. Now, before I do that... Oh, I can't add a war goal because my people aren't into it. Okay. So I'm going to simply accept. So it didn't give us much, but I wanted the more coastal ones. Maybe I should have gone for one of the bigger ones. I don't know. It was like... It all seemed pretty good. So, I have Belgian Benin, which is a colonial province. Now, the mechanics there work differently. At least 1% of the population need to be bureaucrats of an accepted culture in order to convert this colonial possession to full national state. Um, immigration is a thing. Do I, want, do I want to build forts or railroads? Can you colonize now? I don't know. I think the, no, because the problem is still the life rating. I need the techs that make us be able to colonize these areas a little bit more. But the idea will be to colonize over there. What we need, um... Do, uh, I swore machine guns was somehow related to colonization. I think more of the medical things might help. I really felt there was something very special about... This, but I know that the hardcore colonization doesn't start until, yeah, the 70s or 80s. Breach loading? Colonial negotiations? Ah! Minimum life rating minus 10%. There we go. Okay, 
We'll build some railroad down here. Why not? I don't know. He's got to do something. Not just be take, take, take. We're still the baddies. Let's not let's not hide that you know we're being pretty bad here. Breach loading and state and government. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. There's one for your bingo card. Fielded 13 out of 7 possible raids, 8 possible raids. Yeah, we literally have more field things out here than we can support. Manpower doesn't exist as the same concept in this as in most other Paradox games. All of your um, divisions are linked to a state and are reinforced by the soldier population there. And we just didn't have any. So I think it is good actually that we're encouraging soldiers because we can't even support our current army, let alone build a bigger one. So I think that's going to be higher value. So, um, and then where's our bad boy rating? Is it not in here? It's not this. Politics? Oh, infamy. There it is. So, this is the infamy or the bad boy kind of thing. Uh, this is our aggressive expansion meter. If this goes too high, people get cranky. Um, so, we'll let it tick down a little bit. I mean, I don't know when the danger zone for infamy is in Vicky. Someone in chat can let me know. That would be potentially very useful. 25 is the bad one. And tribes don't give bad... Well, we got a little bit from, from our war justification. Oh, which I guess I can't do because we're in a truce anyway. All right. So I guess we're just going to sit around for a little while. And then we'll take another chunk out of Sokoto. Oh, does it say in the tooltip? Oh, slash 25. Okay. Yeah, but it doesn't say, because it's not a cap, you can go above 25, but I think 25 is, is I guess, the trigger when other nations are going to come slapping you around. 24.9, the world loves you. 25.1, the entire world declares war on you. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> Alright, our brigade counts are going up. Probably because we're, we're focusing so... We got infinite money here. I mean, maybe I should bring down to... Everyone's, everything seems fine. The problem is, you end this, I'm like, why would I, why would I bring anything down? Everything seems okay. Oh yeah, what do new provinces produce? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. Grain and cattle. Spoil system? There's militancy, crime fighting, which, you know what? Here, let's boost our administration. Get rid of more crime. Well, we do have an extra... Oh, right, it's not a full national state, so I can't do that. I suppose I could reopen these factories. The problem is, I, I feel like there's not enough employees to make it worth opening these factories. I mean, they'll run. But all we'd be doing is moving... Moving... People. Man, these Flemish people are really cranky. Okay, that's a small rebellion, at least. Um, all we'd be doing is moving people from one factory to another. We wouldn't be net gaining. Um, you can expand important factories. Well, that's still the thing. Like, it would be steel is pretty good money maker theoretically. We could expand steel, but again, then it would just take staff away from a few of the other things which we might want. Like the machine parts factory right now, because it's being subsidized, isn't currently making money, but it's still useful to have around. Yeah, can we just, like, yeah, have a, a a rebel prison colony? Can we just ship them to Australia? It'd be really convenient. One issue with Vic 2 is the insane amount of rebels. Maybe I should leave my troops here. That seems to be where they pop up. Alright, at least this counter is improving still, which is nice. Muzzle-loaded rifle's almost done. Can we do breach the load right away? Uh, 1850. 1850 is going to be a big year. The demand for machine parts is still small, but there are some shortages because it's a new tech. As the game goes on, the demand for machine parts will spike. Forcing people to speak French make you cranky too. <laughs> is that why the Flemish people are so cranky? Nice. Our population, I think our population was originally a million when we started. So it's 